Or... <laughs> Dad's going to get his new Tesla. Here we go. Yeah, we do. We got to document this. Well, that's sweet, right? Because usually it's the parents doing that to their kids, right? so Every time my boyfriend does that, I said, you're in mom mode again. He's like, you're going to want these memories. Like, no, not really. Uh, I'm just happy he uh, has a car that will sort of drive it, right? for him. Or yeah, a little bit of the driving for him. That's amazing. Which one was it? Was it this one? Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, no worries. I know, we have to. All right, here we go. Alright, you can get right in. Alright. Here we go, Dad. <laughs> yeah, those seats are incredible. This is your spare key, right? And then this is your actual key. But we're gonna put that right in the middle pencil. Right there. No, no, no. We're gonna right there. Exactly. Now put your foot on the brake. And this is how we turn on the car. Okay, so we're gonna start with your Bluetooth. Okay, now you see where. No, 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 because we're gonna do just your configurations first, so we're good. Now, you see where the Bluetooth is, where that Y, the, the pink little. Did you see the pink? Yeah, right there. Bluetooth. Alright, so now let's go into your phone. Let's go into your settings of your phone. Open up the settings. Perfect. Now let's go into Bluetooth. Now we're going to go start to search on the screen. Great. And then that is your iPhone. Go ahead and select your iPhone. Now go here. And then allow. Okay. Now up on the top to select priority. Yeah, right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right there. Now, do you want your text messages to come on the screen? Okay. Yeah. All right. So let's go right in here. Select this one right there. Right here, the little, the little icon. Okay. Show notifications. And now we're gonna open up sync messages. You see that? And then hit reconnect. Perfect. Now, what's going to happen is when someone sends you a text message, it's going to show right there, but it doesn't automatically show. You press once to uh, show it and twice to decline it, okay? And you're going to see, it's going to say, so-and-so sent you a message. You're going to press this once, this cool button. Yeah, you press it once, right? You press it once and it's going to show. You press it twice and it's just to dismiss it, okay? All right, so now let's exit out of there. Perfect, now go all the way up. Do you see where it says profile? Right away up on top, okay. Now go into create driver profile and then go ahead and populate your name. Sorry. Okay, <laughs> go ahead and populate your name. The whole name? Just whatever your, your nickname, whatever you like. I'll just use one. Great, now go create, create profile. Now what we're gonna do here is basically set your seats, your mirrors, and your, when your wheels. So go ahead, how's your chair right now? Uh, it's a little too, it needs to be back. Okay, so right under here, you're going to adjust your seat. There is a lumbar support, which is a circular button, but you just wanna create that. And then we're gonna move your wheel, and then we're also gonna move your mirror. I don't get any circle. Yeah, no, the circular button is the lumbar support. Yeah, so You'll... it's not gonna do that too. No, it won't, it won't, it just makes it, um, it's not as it's hard, it makes it softer. Yeah, it's good for the, the... Yeah, now yeah, you really could feel it if you're yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. The the vegan leather is soft enough that you actually feel the lumber support more than most cars. Yeah, it's very, very comfortable. You're good there? Okay, perfect. Now let's go to mirrors. Now with this button here, you're gonna adjust this mirror. Okay. And 
once you're done with that one, you're going to select the right mirror and use the same button to adjust. Mm -hmm. It's to, scrolling up and down, and then left and right is how you're going to adjust the mirror. Is it working? It doesn't look like it's moving. Yeah, yeah so then you're going to go this way. So if you oh, want, yeah, then you're going to push it. This, you push it. Yes, you push it, yeah. Okay, I was pushing it. It's okay. Okay, great. Now you're going to exactly and the same button and same moves. Exactly. Okay, great. Now we're going to exit out of there. And now go to steering wheel, which is right next to mirrors. Right next to the mirrors. There we go. And then the same button. The steering wheel is telescopic, so you can scroll up and down. And then bring it down. Yep. And then left and right is going to bring it in and out. However you feel comfortable. About 90% of your job is teaching, huh? Uh-huh. That's a, yeah, because it is a whole new thing. <laughs> it is a whole new thing, and, and I just want to make sure that you're yeah, safe, absolutely. You know? yeah. Is that good? That All right, so now we're gonna hit save right underneath your name. Perfect. Now let's exit out of that. Okay. You're right up there, perfect. And again, exit out of there. Right on top of the corner. Great. Now what we're gonna do. Let's see, I forget where was that? How we get to that? Well, how we got to that is that you see where your name is up on top where it says Lee? That is going to be your profile. So if you have okay. someone else that's going to add themselves to them, that's how you're going to be able to. Um, I think that was my fantasy profile. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now let's exit out of that again. Right there, Tesla Tutorials, right? Okay. Again. There we go. Now you see where it says navigate? Mm -hmm. Go ahead, go into navigate. Right? And now you see where it says set home? Go ahead and select set home and then populate your address okay. so the reason okay. that we set the home the too, yes exactly yeah the reason we set the home because there are some configurations that exclude your home yeah yeah you're good yeah it's in here And then go to auto perfect okay now what we're going to do is just your settings just basically your car settings and all of your car settings are right in that little car icon so go ahead and select that and as you can see this is how you're really going to personalize the vehicle for you especially depending on the car that you're already driving although it's an electric vehicle there's a lot of preferences that you can make it an easy transition okay so now let's go into locks perfect now let's Scroll up on the left hand side, right, the right hand side, right. So walk away door lock. What that means is that once you get out of your car, as soon as you get out, the car is going to lock. You don't have to worry whether or not you locked it or not. That's how it locks, okay? okay? Now you see where it says car left open notifications, do doors and windows, right? Yep, yeah, there you go. And then you're going to do lock confirmation sound and close windows on lock. So all those things, you don't have to worry when you walk out, the car is going to lock itself, okay? Now let's go into display, which is right underneath the right. Now we're going to change this percentage. We're going to change it to miles. So you're going to go scroll that up. Scroll on the right hand side. No, you're good. Yeah, okay. scroll more. Yeah, there we go. And then you see where it says energy display? Go to distance. Perfect. And now you have your miles. Okay. 
Now let's go to driving. Now here, uh, acceleration, you can chill it out. If you feel like the car has too much force, like too much power, you can no, go ahead. No. <laughs> Never, not enough. <laughs> but if it does, you can chill it out. You know, it's, it's your preferences. Um, and what car were you driving prior? Mercedes or Mercedes. Okay, zero well, Mercedes, right? Yeah. Okay. Zero to 60 less than five seconds. Okay, so a Mercedes driver usually likes a nice loose steering wheel. Like you like that steering yeah, wheel where it's pretty tight. Okay, so you can either, so right here, the comfort, the way that I'd explain the comfort is Lexus Mercedes. Uh, standard is all your standard of the vehicles, and Sport is more like an Audi BMW. So depending on how you like your, your steering wheel to feel for you, you have those three options. Okay. It's on comfort now, so it's a little bit looser, but it's still sporty. Is it's that, just looser than most. Just this and then try this? Yeah, you can honestly, you'll know more when you're driving. You know what I mean? But this yeah. is just so I can explain it to you that if you decide, like, you know what, I really like the way the, this handles, you can change it at any time. It's you're not fixated. So if you want, you, just go yeah, you can go standard, yeah. So then your stopping mode. This is where also it also kind of like you're able to compare it to your car. Now the stopping mode, all this is is brakes. This is all that is talking about. Creep is more like your regular car, regular gas car. When you press your foot on the brake and you let it go, what happens? The car creeps forward, correct? In a manual car, when you have your foot on the brake and you let it go, the car rolls backward, right? In a Tesla, what we have is a hold. And that's great because that actually helps your knees and everything. This basically means that when you put your foot on the brake, you can let it go because it will hold it there until you're ready to move and press the accelerator. It's all, it has a resistance when you're driving on hold mode too, right? Yes. Kind of like you're pushing in first gear, yes. sort of. Like. So the regenerative braking is something that you cannot minimize in these new ones. Regenerative oh, so braking there's no is roll? Some... roll? I thought roll let it roll. No, no, so roll allows it to go backwards. So like oh. let's say you take off your foot. It's almost like people who like to drive okay, manual. Okay, so it's always going to have that resistance. I don't know who wants that, but if you love a manual car. Creepy. Oh, God, yeah. that is terrible. Yeah. I'm glad you told me that. Yeah, I... and then hold also helps with the regenerative braking. Not only does it charge the battery, but it also holds on to the range. So mm -hmm. that is the Tesla way. Um, but I like to explain that because yeah. sometimes people like to drive their car the way their old car drives. So we're always you know? going to have that like third, it feels like third gear, second gear sometimes when you're driving. Like mm -hmm. it's always pushing as you're driving, mm -hmm. which that way you're not rolling. Exactly. And other cars roll. <laughs> and then when you put your foot on the brake, you'll see an H and that's how you know. If you say, what is this H? It means it's just hold. That's all that means. Okay. okay. Now let's go to your autopilot right underneath driving. And then let's activate all of this, right? So you see where it says auto steer? Go ahead and turn that on and then select yes. Auto steer is basically your cruise control, okay? Now the navigate on autopilot, the car is very, very new, right? So in order for the, the navigation on autopilot to activate, you need to calibrate it. The cameras need to level out and that takes a little bit of miles in driving. And when it's at 100%, that is when you're gonna be able to okay. turn it on, okay? Cool. Cool. So you see it at 0% now, it just needs to understand and get to know your driving first. <laughs> now you see where it says green light traffic chime? Yes. You're gonna go ahead and select that? And go ahead and select all the other ones. The full self-drive visualization is just going to be all the information that comes up here when you're driving. Mm -hmm. That just gives you the cars, the cones, everything. And then the summoning, go ahead and select that. The summoning basically is if, and then yes, yeah, if you're 150 car. feet away from your car, you can summon the vehicle to you, mm -hmm. and the car will drive to your to you on it's, the app. Yeah, yeah, it's in beta mode. They're mm -hmm. still working on it to make it a little bit more seamless, but it's mm -hmm. almost there. So that's pretty amazing. Okay. Cool. okay? Now I'm going to go over the safety and security just so that you know what type of safety security the car has. So the car right now has allow mobile access. When that is activated, that's what gives you your phone the key. Now if you lose your phone and you don't want that access, you just want to use your keys, you're just going to remove that so that nobody has access to the car except someone who has a key. Okay? Yes. And that's only when someone fidgets with the car. I've heard customers like, my son was playing with it, my phone doesn't work. That's what it is. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now let's scroll up a little bit up there. Uh, yeah, there we go. The speed limit mode, if you're, if you're lending your car to someone and you don't want them to over exceed the speed limit, with a PIN number, you select hmm. it, put your own four PIN number, and they won't be able to over exceed it, okay? Wow, that's good. Sentry mode is like an alarm system. Mm -hmm. Basically, if someone gets near your car, tries to open the car, it will automatically start recording them. Now, the sentry mode can be turned on here or you can turn it on on your phone. Mm -hmm. Let's say you park your car and you're like, oh, I forgot to activate sentry mode. 
on your phone, you can actually activate that. Okay? And there's an SD card in the, you can put an SD card in the glove box, There right? is a, a USB port and it has it. Um, I think it's like 250, I'm not even sure, but uh, that's why there's also a pin for the glove box. So mm -hmm. if you have it that it monitors yeah. like who's using your car and what they're doing, they can't get into the glove box because then you can change and they won't be able to. How many hours will it record in sentry mode? Um, um, it, it, it does drain the battery. So as long as there's battery, it records. And as long as there's memory, it records. So if you park this, say, at the state fairgrounds with people walking back yeah. and forth, your battery would drain or will it drain, give you enough to get home? It will give you enough to get home. But, okay. And obviously you're not going to leave it there like yeah. 24 hours. <laughs> but if you leave it on, it's, it's still uh, yeah, using the battery. Yeah, I was just saying if you parked in so a really public area, people you walking. On. Okay. Hmm? You only turn that on when you want it on. Exactly, yeah. So you can turn it on there or you can turn it on, on your it's app. A little next to Lee, right? Mm -hmm. Next to the little star there. It's that oh, yeah, button. exactly. Yeah. You can yeah. turn it on that way too, yeah. or you oh. can go into safety and security and just turn it on there. Or you can yeah. push the talk button, right? Uh, yes, and then say sentry. Sorry, mode. I'm jumping ahead of you. No, no, that's fine. <laughs> There's a Siri button on here, Dad. Exactly. This is a Siri. This is your Siri button. So whenever in doubt that you're driving, you're like, I don't know. How do I is. turn on the heated steering wheel? Press the button. Hold it and down. Say, see yeah. what it says. So can do it. Ask a question. Okay. No, Press just it. say, say something. How do I turn on the nope. heated seat? Nope, nope. Just mm -hmm. say heated seats. Let's see if it does it. Oh. Oh. Front seat heaters. Oh, so press just it, say heated so seats. So press yeah. on, say turn on heated seats. Oh, it turned it on. It, it did, yeah. It did, yeah. 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 Oh, I guess yeah. it recognized whatever and it was yeah. like, all right, let's just turn Okay, it so on. now you want to say turn off heated seats. Yeah, turn off all heated seats. Turn off all heated seats. Now watch the little red lines go. Mm -hmm. away. You see it? Yeah. So what you want to do is when you press it, right? So like when you, so like let's just say, you know, you press it, wait for the beep, navigate home. And then it's going to do your, your navigation. Okay? But it has to be moving to navigate, right? Well, no, 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 no. no so it's no, not going to start to walk? No, so oh. what I asked it was to turn on the navigation to set it home. Okay. But I didn't, navigate on autopilot is a whole different other command. Right. And if you want to get acquainted with the uh, commands, there is a website. There's like, a, the, like an itemize that you can kind of, but it's really what you want, right? So you're turning it on and just say, call so-and-so. It will do that. You just have to press the button, wait for the beep, and then give it the command, okay? okay. Regular like Siri, like or like uh, Alexa. Okay. Alrighty, so let's um, okay. So let's go into okay. Let's go scroll up a little bit more. There's still some more. Mm-hmm. And then over here, right? So you have your security alarm that you can activate. Pin to drive that you can put a pin that nobody can use a car unless you have a pin. Glove box pin, same concept. Can't get in the glove box without a pin. And Joe mode basically just removes all the chiming and the noises. A lot of people don't like that. So if you want a quiet ride, you can just turn on Joe mode. Okay? Like when you go under a traffic light, it's red. When it turns green, there is a button there is, that it turns. It bings, right? It pings every time there's a traffic light. If the if there is a red light, the car will stop. Mm -hmm. If there's a stop sign, the car will also stop. Okay, that's part of the full yeah. stop drive. Well, when it turns green, it pings. Exactly. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's a little alert, which I didn't think we needed until I started driving. I'm like, oh, I'm very yeah, distracted when I'm driving. Idea, yeah. <laughs> Let's go back to autopilot. I just want to show you some other little things and then scroll up there's more options here that I just wanted to show you here so every time you are by your speed like by your speed there's a speed limit warning it's gonna show you right here that you know it's gonna display now you can offset it a couple of miles five to eight miles if you don't want it to always alerting you uh -huh. but there's a chime in display and right now you have it a display and it will come right here okay. the forward collision warning you have it at medium uh, if you want a little bit earlier, you can change at any time. And your lane departure um, avoidance, you can have a warning or you can have it actually assist you. What would you prefer? Your Mercedes probably had an assist. Um, it's I'll an old, it's an 05, 05. Oh, okay. No, no, I'll not that advanced yet. This is our first advanced I'll car. Take the assist. The assist, okay. <laughs> so then <laughs> change it right there. Okay. Now scroll up a little bit. Now over here, these are all their uh, safety features as well. Emergency lane departure avoidance, your blind spot collision warning chime, automatic emergency braking, and your obstacle aware um, activation, acceleration. So all of these things, anything that you don't like, you could just deselect it from here. But all those are the features that help. Well, the obstacle aware does what? Well, it will if, if, if there's, there's like out there in the road. right. It might accelerate it if it feels like that's a safer way. I don't know if you've seen videos on it. It's pretty cool. Um, just take a look at it. If there's something that you don't like, uh, you could just deselect mm -hmm. it. You know what I mean? But I just want to let you know yeah. where it is. Now, do you have in auto mm -hmm. mode for that to work, or uh, with a no, lane avoidance? Just, no, if somebody comes over on you, if you have lane avoidance on, if you're driving with your hands, will it take over just like the GMs and the 
I think Cadillac so, has one of those. So the navigation on autopilot is when the car is fully engaged, yeah. you know? So as far as like the emergency braking, the car will, will do that. As far as like avoiding and going into another lane, it won't do that unless autopilot. it's autopilot, okay. you know what I mean? And it will probably chime and let you know because honestly, we can't predict what another driver is gonna do yeah. only when they are accelerating on you or they cut you off. That's the only thing that they can sense. But know? emergency braking, that will, like if it he's got break. everything off, it'll break even if he doesn't have it on auto exactly, or anything. Exactly, exactly. That's just part of the car. It's not gonna allow you to run into the back it, of something. Yeah, exactly. And it's not gonna, like if a deer comes out, I mean, it's going to avo avoid it as much as it can because that's Even just, if it's not an autopilot or yes, auto, okay. exactly. Oh. Yeah, that's just part of the car. Yeah, so you don't really need full self-drive for that. It just comes with the car, the yeah, emergency okay. braking. Um, it's just part of the technology because the cameras are here. You know, it has the hardware for it. And then last but not least, go into software. So the software here, as you can see, your car has four miles. Oh, right? four. We yeah, didn't get 15. Four. Okay, yeah. sorry. It's, up it's to always 15. less than 15. I was like, where'd all that mud yeah. come from now? <laughs> so it's four miles there. Go ahead and scroll up for a second, right? So it shows you here that you have your full self drive, um, that it has it, you know, the software, the premium connectivity. You have it for the year. That's changed over to 30 days, but now you have it for the year. Any software update that you need, especially with your full sub drive, you want to make sure you always keep it updated. Mm -hmm. And how you're going to do that is when you get home, you can put it, but when you put the car in the garage, you want to put the car on Wi-Fi. And so whenever there's a software update, it's just like your phone, okay. it's going to let you know. And you can actually do it at the times that you're not using the car, like late in, you know, late at night. Um, and that's how you're going to do that. Now, let's just say that the software update happens while you're out and about, you can do a soft reboot. By holding both of these buttons, you hold them down, it will reset it so that you can get out of the software update and then continue on. Okay. I've heard it happen to people, but it's super easy just to get out of it, okay? okay. All right, so like, let's exit out of there. Okay, now, as far as software update, it's gonna, where do I set the time? Or it's gonna let you know, um, and then you can add it, you know, depending okay. on like your preferences and things like that, and also on your phone now, as well. With the premium connectivity. connectivity. So the premium connectivity is actually having the internet, the LTE. In the car. In the car. So let's say, wow. I know, that, I swear that car passes by here. It does on purpose, day. right? Every day. Every day. Every day. <laughs> So, okay, so it's really Wi-Fi in the car. Yeah, so basically, so let's go right in here, the little box of the so arrow. So you get one year free when you buy the car. Yes. Okay. Um, and go into entertainment, the second to last one. Yeah. So these are all the games that you can play, right, when you're parked and charging. Now go into theater up on top. This is your Netflix, mm -hmm. Hulu, Disney+, Plus, YouTube, and your Tesla tutorials. You have the LTE for this. You have your subscription services already. This gives you the ability to download and go ahead and you know watch whatever you want, only when it's parked and when it's charging. You also have, go ahead and hit the, the music note. Okay, now you also have internet radio. So you have um, streaming, which is Slack Radio, <laughs> free for the first year. Um, and then you also have Spotify. So if you have an account, you, put, you populate your information, and then there you go, you can listen to the internet radio. What kind of radio did you say it has? It has a regular dial radio, right? But it also has news radio. So if you go into TuneIn, you see the one all the way at the end? TuneIn, the third to last, yep. This is gonna give you all the news radio for all of like MSNBC, uh, Fox, CNN, all of the news radio, if that's what you prefer, that's what you're gonna have there. So it's pretty cool. Last but not least, mm -hmm. I don't know that he's been told something. <laughs> the charging, sit, how to charge. Yeah. Uh, you might, I don't know, you just flip it open, but uh, does it come with the charging yes. cable? Yes, so okay. it has a, a home charging cable. Okay. So the charger, go ahead and, and press this little button right here. See the little charging bolt? Yeah. So when you press that, mm -hmm. it's going to open. It there you go. Some, it oh, opens there it goes. Right? Oh, cool. Okay. And then it opens up your charge port, right? So right now you have 290 miles to, to the end of your charge. Whenever you add a source, whether it's uh, your home charging or you're charging at a supercharger, it's gonna automatically configure how long it's gonna take for a full charge. So you're gonna know. At home, obviously it's the slowest charge. Mm -hmm. You have the 110. The 110 is three miles an hour, slowest charge, but if you're not putting a lot of miles, it's more than enough. Mm -hmm. um, if you upgrade it to the 220, which is a washer and dryer, you're gonna buy the charging plug, that's the washer and dryer, it's $45 online, mm -hmm. but you do need to get it installed, the outlet. Yes. So you gotta have the electrician to do that. Now, you go from three miles to 30 miles an hour, mm -hmm. it's a faster charge. 
But when you go to the superchargers, which are all over, you're now getting 250 kilowatts, 150 kilowatts, which you're going to get a full charge in probably 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. So there goes the difference. You yeah, got I have hours. Oh, perfect. Yeah. So, I mean, even if, so yeah. I always tell people like, cause there's a lot of customers that buy cars in apartments. They don't have a house. Right. Mm -hmm. So they're going to the superchargers as if getting gas. Right. Mm -hmm. So the same concept, like if you don't want to charge at home and you just want yeah. to make it a trip for yourself to go sit at the charging that, station and watch a movie. And this is just a regular out. plug here or what, uh, does this yeah. pull out? It pulls out. No, your, no, no, or, no. Oh, that's you. a regular three prong plug. Yeah. Let me okay. show you. So and then where's the here? supercharger go? So the supercharger is is an actual fixture, right? It's like a gas pump, right? Yeah. That's that. But this is his home charging kit. Oh, the home charging kit, okay. Yeah. But that has the same, the supercharger also goes in there. Exactly, yeah. Okay. So oh, there this, it is. this nice. is what's gonna go in there, right? Okay. This is the adapter. Got it. And this is the plug, right? So this is oh, your 110. Okay, got it, yep. So this goes right in here. Okay. You're gonna plug that to the wall, and then this goes to the car. Excellent. Okay. okay. That goes into here. Yeah. yeah that Got goes it. That's why it's one of the adapters. And okay. as soon as you plug it in, it's going to recognize it's a 110, 220, and it's going to show you how long it takes for okay, full so charge. This is supercharger. No, that's no, no that's, that's just a home charger. That's a home charger. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, oh, the supercharger the already super, has its own. Yeah. The supercharger, yeah. think of a supercharger like a gas station for electric cars. Got it. Yeah. So you don't have to pl plug anything else in. You don't have to do anything in. because the nozzles are there. You're just okay. going to go plug it into the car and make sure that you park on that side because it's mm -hmm. always on the driver's side. Yeah, cool. Exactly. And so this is different. This is a, a, J, a J adapter. Any electric vehicle charging stations, so these are not Tesla, are going to convert it to oh, a Tesla. Oh, that's your okay? generic. Okay. So this is just an adapter. That's all it is. Okay. Uh, Target, uh, hotels, restaurants, sometimes they have free charging stations. Mm -hmm. This yeah. is so that you can charge there. Yeah, apartment complexes in Wilmington now. Exactly. Because yep. not all of them allow Teslas. And obviously, not anybody can charge at a Tesla charging station unless you're a Tesla. Mm -hmm. So that's why we can charge at theirs, but they can't charge at yes. ours. Yes. Okay? Right. okay, cool. And then this is what you're going to upgrade the if home. you want. Yeah. This is going to be the, the one that you can buy that's a 220. It's a washer and dryer outlet. And then you can interchange them depending on the house. Maybe you're an Airbnb. This is the 110. This is the 110. 110. Okay. Yeah. And to purchase the 220, it's $45, and okay. you're just going to get this piece. Got it. Yeah. This, yeah, this it's just without the adapter. We don't have a 220 on it. Right, yeah. and then you're just going to plug it in here. Okay, cool. Yeah. Excellent. Nice yeah. time video. Sorry. <laughs> that's so that's yeah. that. And then, so that's right, your yeah. home charging. These are release buttons for this. You mm -hmm. can go camping when you're ready. Oh, yeah, flip there down. There we go. Oh, nice. And then this oh, one. Wow. There we go. Yeah. So that's that right there. There's also a 12 volt charge right here mm -hmm. where you can actually inflate a twin size bed. Oh, wow. Or, you know, a little grill. Mm -hmm. And then you also have additional charging space right over here. Oh, nice. wow. Uh, storage space. Storage, storage space. space. Not space. That'd be fun. <laughs> yeah, because imagine yeah. just charge everybody while you're well, driving. We have some golden retrievers that are going to love Can you spot. use this? That. Can you use this so you have a power outage? They're not as common nowadays. Can you mm, I don't, I don't run? Know. Well, you can run a TV I off of this F with that, right? I know the F-150 does that. Right. The F-150 does that. We don't. I don't think so. I, okay. I don't know. Honestly, you're probably running adapters. Yeah, probably not good for the Tesla. Yeah, <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, yeah, I don't think it's good for the car, but I'm pretty sure you know someone yeah. who's engineer savvy can probably look and do something like yeah, that. Okay. For the golden retrievers, if you're gonna have them in here, I would just suggest to get like an old blanket mm -hmm. because yeah. yes, the hair will stick on yeah, that black. And yep. for the most part, they're not really gonna damage anything. But what you want to do is put like a blanket on the front part of the mm -hmm. white portion because yeah. their nails can go yeah. in there. And then also, you know, that you have dog mode, right? So when they're in the car, you know, they won't activate it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you don't so, want the car moving. Yeah, so dog <laughs> mode, basically, you can turn it on. It turns everything off but leaves the climate on so that the oh, dog can stay okay. there comfortably. Wow. Cool. So if it's really, really cold or really, really hot, you Where's can Where's dog mode button? Can we see that oh, one? Yeah. <laughs> Let's find that one for sure. Let me show you. It's in your climate, so go ahead and sit down. Close this little door. Oh, sorry. Okay, so oh. then go hit the little fan button. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, there you go. And then look at dog mode on the upper right hand corner. On the lower, in the gray area, on the right side of the gray area. Yeah, yeah, there, right there. there. Uh, That's dog, dog mode. mode. Yeah. Excellent. And okay. so then it populates a message, right? Because you're in the driver's side, so it's not going to do it right now. But it populates a dog picture 
and it puts the temperature really really big so when people are being nosy and they're like oh there's two dogs in there and it's completely closed off it shows them the temperature yeah. and it shows that the dogs are okay whether it's cold or hot problem, would it tell you on your phone it, oh so somebody walks up to the car it shows it the shows yeah you, that's really and cool. it has a cute little robotic you know, dog broken tesla exactly, when it goes that way. <laughs> exactly but for the most part people understand that's that cool. we do have dog mode yeah. and then there's also a camp mode so let's go back into nice. the air let's go back into the fan Right there, right there, you're there in the middle. You'll get it, you'll get in the middle. The fan, there we go. Now let's turn that off. Hey, you don't want well, to, that's camp, you yeah. put it on camp. What's camp is with your so staying overnight in the car? So camp is basically, you're camping in the car. So it turns everything off, Except leaves it on, but that's for the human, not for the dog. For air conditioning. Because it's not, and, exactly, yeah. yeah. So that's that, and then for your heated seats, heated steering wheel, you see a little symbol that looks like a bacon? Go ahead and select that, put the fan again. Right there. That's going to give you heated steering wheel and all heated <laughs> that's, seats. That's for up north north. I don't, I don't think I ever need that Well, here. I think this is going to be the coldest winter ever. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me. Okay? I can't. It was cold I think a heated steering wheel is crazy. Like, would... You want me out here? I need my fur. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah. I'm so, the same way. Yeah, no, it, it's going to be cold. And I was just up north. I was in New York last week, and it was freezing. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Freezing. Yeah, we, we and we went up to well. the yeah. National Harbor. Mm -hmm. Freezing. Anything by water, it's just like a different type of chill up north, you know? Um, yeah, so that's that. So now let's, let me just show you some things on the map. So bring this down. You're going to put your finger on that right there. Bring it down. And one more time. Okay, one more time on the little white area. Okay, great. Now let's cancel the navigation because remember we had it to the home. Okay, now you see those three symbols on the right hand side? There, yeah, go ahead and press the first one. That's going to give you satellite. So that's going to give you a real in-depth picture of where you are. It could be basically on top of a, of a roof, you can have it. So unselect the first icon. And I'll select the second one. This is real-time traffic. So it tells you traffic, accidents, and congestion, the orange and the red, and it'll show you. And then last one, it's going to give you all your superchargers. So oh, you'll wow. know wherever you are, where to charge. Mm -hmm. If you guys are going to go on a road trip, it will configure um, all the superchargers that you're going to need to complete your trip. It also gives you a lot of information, right? So go ahead and press that thing right there, that number seven, that red thing. Yeah, perfect. Tells you how many stalls are available. Tells you the, the price of the kilowatt, right? And it also tells you the amenities. So let's say that you want to charge, but you also want to eat something and leave the car parked. If you select one of these icons, you see the food icon? Yep. Gives you a list of all the foods around it. Great. So you'll never have to Google. A lot of times people think, I haven't, you know, like what, I have to plan ahead. No, the car plans ahead for you. So it does all the work. You just got to know how to use it because it doesn't make sense for you to be in a car that gives you anxiety. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah, you know? spend a day yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but you got to have to, you're going to use it, you know, like I don't want you to be afraid of it. I want you to work with it the way you work with your iPhone. The way that you got on and was able to make those payments and things like that, same concept, you know what I mean? Because that's what you have it. And as well, the software is going to start evolving, right? So it might get complicated and you might have to change like what you're normally used to. You want to get used to this before it starts evolving because then it's not going to be fun for you, you know? Yeah. So the only thing that's left is the configuration for your autopilot, which again, that's going to happen while you drive it. Once it has 100%, you're going to go back into the autopilot and activate it. And then you're going to be able to do the full sub drive, mm -hmm. you know, whenever you want, yeah, you know, but you'll see it because right now it's at zero. It only mm -hmm. has four miles. The cameras need to get leveled out and read it, you know, precisely for it to be, you know, up to date so that it can drive on its own. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that, was that a lot? Was that? Yeah, what was your name? I'm sorry. <laughs> Michelle. Michelle, you, that is a wonderful presentation. Thank you. Is it okay if I put this on YouTube? I guess so. Sure. <laughs> it's on Drew's Quick Fixes and Hacks. Awesome. So thank, thank you, you, Michelle. You got, you're awesome. Thank you. I mean, I, I look at it like, you know, if my mom was picking up a car, I was picking up a car. I would like that, you know what I mean? I picked up a They train you guys well though, they really do. I mean, you know, yeah. it's, it's a lot different, right? Because of COVID, you know? Yeah. So it's always like, hey, you know, they sign and drive, we have videos for you, but I just feel like the personal, you know, interaction is just gonna help you remember it. Well, maybe I the big up, boss will see this one. I, I got 14,000 so. <laughs> subscribers, so yeah, so we'll see if it gets out there. <laughs> Five o'clock, they have like the thing here. Is that right? Yeah, so we're, we started to do that, you know, but like a lot of people are not really doing it. They're not really coming through. But again, if you need another tutorial, if you need another walkthrough, I'll be happy to go ahead and do I took your order off the phone uh, when we were talking a long time ago. That's why I wanted to, do, yeah, that's why I wanted to do the, the, 
the whole exactly exactly that's why i wanted to do this because like i said you know it's a lot you know but like you will forget a lot of things i told you but the important thing Forget is on that, video, Michelle. <laughs> right. The important thing is the settings, you know, that yeah. you have the lane deviation, you know how to activate your autopilot, you know, just simple things. And when you forget, when I mean, you're like, mm -hmm. it's cold, you'll just press that button and you can say, you know, temperature 85. I'm cold. Yeah. If you say I'm cold, it'll lower yeah. it. She showed me that. Three degrees. Yeah. Say it's say awesome. I'm cold. Say I'm, I'm, I'm cold on there, Dad. Push the button and say I'm cold. I'm cold. Lowers it by three degrees or mm -hmm. increased, yeah. increased if it versus air conditioned. Yeah. So you may want to. That yeah, that's pretty cool. So you <laughs> may want to just go online and get all those. Uh, the little knacks, the yeah, little, little, yeah, little like things like that, yeah. just because um, it, it's just gonna make your life easier. You know, yeah. right now it went on night mode, so it darkens out, so it's not that glare. But if you, like you said, you're having like eyesight problems, you can get the um, the protection that's anti glare for the sun. So you may want to look into that. Um, okay. It's just an accessory. A lot of people put it on there, and it also prevents like getting a lot of uh, thumbs and fingerprints on there. Fingerprints. Um, yeah, you know, like it is. What <laughs> I'm it leaving is. smudges on it's my dad's car. new Tesla. Yeah. Oh, so you find that more oh, comfortable. Yeah. Yeah, so you great. can you can change that. It's called display. If you prefer it like that at all times because the glare is too no, much. I mean, and... no, no, I can't. The, the oh, the screen board. is fine. Yeah. Oh, okay, perfect, perfect. That's not hard to read, perfect. Yeah, so that's about it. I mean, I kind of went through everything. Yeah, you did a great um, job. Thank and you. for the most part, you're just going to have to use it a little bit more <laughs> and, you know, play with it. And again, if you're in doubt, just press the button and have her, you know, assist you. Excellent. All right. Okay. You so You're very welcome. You we do know how to get into gears, right? So let's do this. Yeah. So let's put your foot on the brake. Okay. Remember, yeah. So remember, this is going to be also a learning curve for you, right? Like when you get into the car, you're going to just put your foot on the brake and then you're going to go. There's no push start. There's no nothing. As long as your key is in there, as long as your phone is in there, you're good to go, right? So keep your foot on the brake. And then we're going to bring you to drive. So you're going to bring that all the way down, all the way down. So now you see that it's in drive because you see that there. And again, it shows the hold, right? Because that's what you selected for your braking system. So it's going to stay there until you press the accelerator, okay? Now let's bring this all the way up for reverse. Now mm -hmm. you know you're in reverse, right? Because this tilts down, it protects your wheels. Mm -hmm. There's a whirring sound to alert other people because the car's so quiet. Mm -hmm. And then the backup camera populates. This is one of your backup cameras, and then obviously the backup camera. So you get a total of three cameras that come on when you're in reverse, okay? Now you're going to press the P button, park button, and then it's parked. Now there are some people that do like to drive with a camera on. Uh, you can do that as well. So if you want to do that, you're more than welcome to just, you know, put on the little camera right there, the little third symbol, the third one. And you can drive with the camera, the backup camera on. Nice. You know what I mean? It just depends on how you yeah, feel comfortable. Like yeah, a lot of people like that. And people are like, I need that camera on. I'm like, okay, a lot of uh, Uber drivers have that. Mm -hmm. Where they have and they can see if someone's near them and stuff like that. If that makes you feel comfortable, you're more than likely to do uh, that. It didn't act activate that one, but not this no, one. No, just these. these are just the those. Just oh, those are the backups. Okay, that this is, is just part of the dash cam. That's dash cam. part of like the, the drive. When, when you actually drive with the cameras on and it mm -hmm. activates the front, the oh, back, okay. the sides, and the bottom sides. Nice. The 360 okay. drive. Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty calm. I drove it too, so I know how to tell him if we're getting out of here, we're not going to go crazy. But. Okay, well, are you <laughs> But it's sure down, what is it down for, what is yeah. it up? My excursion is over there. We're probably, we're going to go. Yeah, back. yeah, yeah you, you can leave it there. No yeah. worries. Yeah, no no worries. Yeah, we don't want to. Well, That's No, no, no. We're not going to tow okay. it or nothing. No, we're no, yeah. no, 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 no worries. Um, no, you'll know that you're in your gears because of this. Yep. It will highlight the area. So, and then if you're if in doubt, just read this. Uh, oh, R and D. So that is your cruise control, right? So put down, your foot on the brake. Down twice, right? Yeah. Is, is cruise control. And then bring control. it all the way to drive. Now, if you're just going to use the cruise control, the auto steer, double tap down. Yep. Now, remember, it's not calibrated, so it's not going to light up blue. When it's calibrated, it's going to do that, okay? Oh, okay. Yeah. And then when you're on autopilot, you obviously need a destination, so it's navigating on autopilot. So when you put your address in, in the navigation, it's going to have that little option, navigate on autopilot, and you usually activate that when you're in the highway, and then the car will take over. So will auto auto steer in, in braking not work until that uh, until that thing is 100%? It has to turn blue right. to be 100 Right. The auto steer is not okay, going to so work. Yeah, so we, have to, we have to manually drive until it hits exactly, 100 a and then it turns blue. Yes, okay, exactly. cool. Excellent. Exactly. Okay, good to know. Will 
Will that work on streets too, or just not right now? It's on beta, but it's getting going, there. I mean, four and, lane rides will work. Exactly. Yeah. There's some highways that are like in Wilmington. I mean, I've driven to Wilmington with the full self drive. Um, sometimes it picks it up. What it needs to do yeah. is recognize the lines. Yes. And also, it needs to have enough, enough input in the motherboard for it to take over. Um, but for the most part, what I do is I'll just drive to the highway and then press the button, and then I'm out. You know, so yeah. I'm, I'm good there. So it really depends. Um, I, I just feel like it's going to be fully, fully self-drivable very, very soon. And all they'll do is up, upgrade it, right? Yeah. It'll automatically go into the car. When yeah, software the software updates. is important to update. Not only that, but also the app, right? So the app is getting smarter. The the, the navigation is getting smarter. There's some people that have certain software versions that mm -hmm. are a little bit more smarter. Testing out now, and once all the bugs are done, you're gonna get that upgrade. Mm -hmm. And when it's a fully, fully full self-drivable, you're gonna get that additional upgrade, which is a matter of time. Mm -hmm. And you paid it in at ten thousand. I'm pretty sure it's gonna go up higher by the next year, and you're gonna get the higher version without paying that money. So nice. It's Excellent. always a great investment. It's like the stocks, you know, like it's always yeah. going to get higher, so it's good. Right now, with the full self drive, you can't add that on a cyber truck, and the cyber trucks are, are estimated to be 2023. So, I'm, I'm pretty sure before 2023, we are going to be fully autonomous. Nice, I that just feel good. like you know, that's how the technology is right now. Mm -hmm. And so many people buying cars, the more you buy it, the smarter the car is getting. So, it's just a matter of time, which is kind of amazing. And you bought in at the right time because the price went up high and everything, you know, like you saved a lot of money. I mean, you didn't, but you did. <laughs> 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 we had to wait four or five months. Exactly, yeah. We got it a month waited. earlier than yeah, normal, yeah. 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 Uh, so it's already been, I think when you placed your order, it's gone up $2,500 already. Wow. Yeah, so that's amazing, right? Because yes, unfortunately you've waited, but within that period of time, you've Save gotten 2500 value. bucks. Yeah. yeah. You know, you've gotten so much value that at the end of the day, if you just wanted to swab it out, you could. And, you know. Yeah, we made have bought a stock, although I don't think we want to wait another four no, months. No, no, I think you're going to love this car. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, at the rest stop, yeah. Smithfield is great, and then also Mayfair. I love yes, that Mayfair one. Yes, Mayfair and Wilmington. Mayfair is amazing got, because they have, like, got a ton of them. they have coffee. It's my favorite place. We yeah. do a lot of events there, and mm -hmm. that's like our favorite place. That's where we go food shopping. Mm -hmm. We'll have some coffee, pizza. Right in front of the movie theater, Every, right? Yeah. yeah, I've seen you guys there. Yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, we do a lot of events there. Yeah, we do, yeah. and you'd be surprised the amount of people that have to drive all the way from Wilmington to get their car, but they do it, you know? Mm -hmm. It's slowly but surely getting filled with Teslas in Wilmington. It, uh, you don't even know. I know, Re I mean, look, I know. Every, it's, it's, it's punch buggy. I can't drive without seeing six Teslas yeah, on yeah. the way to Wrightsville Beach. No, I know. Uh, so y'all do good sales out there because... Yeah. Yeah, it's not even funny anymore. They're not. Uh, there's. No, it's I not. see ten to twelve Teslas yeah, in a in a ten mile trip a day. Yeah, for sure. Because everybody not. in Rice Beach has a Tesla. Right. <laughs> I mean, it's just amazing, you know. Because I've been. Yes, working. we do. Yeah, yeah, we do too now. <laughs> yeah. Now part of yeah. that. I mean, I went to New York and I was surprised about. The uh, new Wilmington's amount. probably got more Teslas oh, than Raleigh. Sure. I'm not kidding. I well, I just it's a smaller town. They're more consolidated. Right, more, yeah, Because they're that's everywhere. True. Yeah, that's I, very very true. That's very very. True. It is but, like punch buggy. It's amazing because the more people buy it. New York, I was surprised. Like I, I mean, I was in New York for like five days, and I was just like, wow, the amount of Teslas. And then even driving down from 95, yeah. every time we stopped, there's a Tesla, Tesla charging. Yeah. And it's a gas station in a little corner, Tesla charging. And it's just like, if you don't know, you don't see it. But when you're in the know, you're like, oh, yeah. wow, amazing. Greensboro, all the little towns have their in the sheets, very well lit. A lot of the police like actually mm -hmm. hanging out like Tesla charging stations, so they're super safe. So it's mm -hmm. not like you're just gonna be there 30 minutes by yourself. There's usually some type of traffic, so mm -hmm. you'll get to see it. Now it's gonna be all over. Now yeah, you're yeah. just gonna always see it. Well, Mayfair's amazing. gonna be your spot out there, Dad. That's right, right now. Yeah. yeah, you're very welcome. Thank have you very good, much. You have a good evening, welcome. too. Thank you for the presentation.